OnePlus 7T versus the ROG Phone 2. You asked for it, so let's get in. So the OnePlus 7T is a new device that packs in a lot of performance features at just $599. Now, we, you guys ask, hey, look, compare it to the ROG Phone 2 because it packs a lot of performance, and we know that's the gaming phone to get this year because, of course, the ROG Phone 2 has a lot of features and a lot of gaming enhancements that make a lot of sense. So what does the OnePlus 7T have? It's got a 6.5-inch uh, uh, display that is a 90 hertz display, uh, which is really nice. We know the ROG Phone 2 has a 120 hertz display with 240 hertz uh, touch sampling. And both displays feel really smooth and fast when you're moving around, you're using it to game. It doesn't matter, it feels really fluid. Both of them really do feel absolutely fluid. But I'll tell you how they both feel in gaming pretty soon. Now, in terms of performance, uh, the OnePlus 7T has 8 gigs of RAM. ROG Phone 2 goes from 8 to 12. OnePlus 7T and ROG Phone 2 both have the 855 Plus processor as well. Now, in terms of battery sizes, here's where the big difference is. The OnePlus 7T has a 3800 milliamp battery. The ROG Phone has a 6000 milliamp battery. I can tell you who will win in terms of battery life. It is the ROG Phone 2 with its 6000 milliamp battery. Whether you're gaming or using it as a phone, it will last you for a while. If you're using it for, as just a phone, it's gonna last you at least two days. Massive great battery life. But which charges faster? That's where the um, the OnePlus 7T wins. It basically hits, of course, that mark uh, of charging at 57 minutes, full charge from zero to 100. But again, it's got a small battery. So just put that in mind. Now, both of them, of course, have gaming parallels, right? They have the gaming performance you expect. Uh, OnePlus says that, look, we can give you HDR plus gaming 60 frames per second on PUBG uh, because they have, they've done something with PUBG as well to do that. But the ROG Phone 2 does the same. Now, without even wasting any more time and arguing here, let's jump into some gameplay of both devices and see how they handle PUBG. So gaming is pretty solid on both devices. Uh, the OnePlus 7T uh, ran well, uh, and in terms of heat dissipation, you're looking at close to about 100 degrees, while the ROG Phone 2 did a little bit better on the cooling department, and of course, if you use the, uh, the fan clip, that cools your system a little bit better. Now, when it comes to, of course, extra gaming features, there are game centers for both devices. The game center, the OnePlus 7T, uh, allows you to, of course, block calls and uh, do some, some small game optimization, as well as also your Ethan optimization with Fnatic mode. While the Game Genie on the ROG phone is truly in-depth, you can go in to optimize each game. Uh, you can, uh, of course, check out your frames per second on screen. Uh, you can, of course, uh, customize the fan once it's clipped in. Uh, in terms of cooling, uh, you can customize your, uh, your RGB colors. So you've got a lot of things to do in there that make it more meaningful. Plus you've got the trigger sensors at the top, uh, touch sensitive sensors. So again, you've got more gaming features. And if you're a gamer, that's what you're probably focused on. 
Now, when it comes to the cameras, they both have multiple cameras at the back. Our G phone has two cameras, a wide and a regular camera, while the OnePlus 7T has three cameras. It's got, of course, a main camera, ultra wide, and a telephoto at 2X. They both have 48 megapixel sensors, which is what a lot of people are using today. Now, what do images look like on both devices? Daytime images are nice. Uh, the OnePlus 7T has more saturation. The ROG Phone 2 is a little bit more flat. I think the OnePlus 7T kind of just does much better here. When it comes to nighttime photos, this is where the, um, the OnePlus 7T really shines. Nightscape does a much better job capturing, uh, of course, nighttime imagery than what you get, of course, on the ROG Phone 2. Uh, this is something ROG needs to step up, I would say, but your OnePlus 7T covers that. Now, I think overall, you're looking at both devices, and you're thinking, what should I pick? What should I go with? And you consider price. You know, the ROG Phone 2 is priced at around 570 or so. Uh, if you're picking it up on eBay, you can pick it up at that price. I'll have a link for you guys down below. The OnePlus 7T is 599. Now, they are around the same price, and the ROG Phone 2 scales up when, of course, you get the 12 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage, you know, all that fun jazz in there. Uh, but there is a lot to see. Now, both of them also have stereo speakers. The OnePlus 7T, though, has a pretty loud speaker. And, uh, you know, let's take a quick listen to speakers from both devices. <laughs> Now, when it comes to the audio department, I think the ROG Phone 2 is still the loudest, uh, one of the loudest speakers we have right there. Uh, it's pretty loud, it's sharp, it, it just hits the mark, 108.2 decibels compared to the 106.2, which is still loud on the OnePlus 7T. But I think you gotta go with what you want here. And that's pretty much it. If you're looking for a more balanced, where you're looking at camera and performance, OnePlus 7T is a device for you. If you're looking for gaming, battery life, um, and you know those kind of features, then the ROG Phone 2 is the device for you to go with. I think both of them handle games pretty well, but the ROG Phone 2 has more gaming features that make sense, while the OnePlus 7T can handle your games for you quite well, but will give you better photography. So let me know what you want to pick, guys. I know some people asked for this video. I said I'll try and do this as quick as possible so you see what I think between both devices. Is it the ROG Phone 2? Is that what you like? Or the OnePlus 7T? Uh, leave your thoughts down below, guys. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our other videos as well. We're going to be having more stuff on the uh, Huawei Mate 30 Pro. And Marian will be doing, of course, his camera uh, review on that as well as the iPhone. So stay tuned. Watch more content. And always enjoy the entertainment.